someone else whose stock is up, Austin Eckler. And obviously there's an injury there to Melvin Gordon. What does this mean overall for that offense? Yeah, it stinks because Melvin Gordon's a really good player. And, you know, you can question if he should have been in that game to begin with, but it's going to hurt because Melvin Gordon, you know, not a lot of running backs can make an impact. But with Melvin Gordon and what he does in the passing game, he does. The good thing for Austin Eckler from a fantasy perspective is we kind of know what he's going to do when he's in there in place of Melvin Gordon. He's going to play a lot of snaps and he will get passing down usage. We saw him in one game with Melvin out earlier this year. In that game, Austin Eckler had 12 carries and seven targets. That's good usage. And he played 95% of the snaps. That is tremendous. If you look at uh, Sunday's game, you'll notice that Justin Jackson actually had more carries than Austin Eckler, but that was largely when the game was out of hands already. And I love Justin Jackson. I would take any excuse to use that guy in DFS. But when the game was still at least kind of in hand, it was Austin Eckler who was getting the carries and getting the targets. On Sunday overall, Eckler led the team. He had 11 targets, and nobody else had more than seven. So when a lot of guys step into bigger roles due to an injury to someone else in the team, you don't really know if they will get great use. Maybe they'll split the backfield up and go with one guy in the passing game, one guy in the ground game. But with Eckler, you know he will get that passing down usage. And on the road against Pittsburgh, that's exactly what we want. So I think... Until we see something else where Justin Jackson gets used earlier in games, I feel really good about using Eckler as a workhorse type back for fantasy. It's a tough spot on the road against Pittsburgh because the Chargers may not be favored in that game, but Phillip Rivers is balling out. That offensive line is playing really well, and Eckler will get passing down work. So to me, until further notice, he is a bell cow for fantasy, which carries just a ton of value for the next couple of weeks. A lot to like about the Chargers as we move into the fantasy playoffs and especially Austin Eckler.